know the story of Nicodemus is an Easter story. We know the story of Nicodemus. He comes to see Jesus at night. He was a Pharisee. He was a teacher. And yet there was something about Jesus that drew him away, what he was sure of, what he was confident of, and it drew him to the truth. Nicodemus came to see Jesus at night, not wanting anyone to see. And in that discussion Jesus had with him, Nicodemus heard things that he did not understand. You have to be born again. And Nicodemus questioned back to Jesus, Do I need to go in again to my mother's womb? And Jesus said, No, you need to be born of water and the Spirit. Jesus tells Nicodemus that great gospel sentence that we know, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And the verse after it is even better. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. You see, Nicodemus shows up again in the Scriptures. He shows up on the day that Jesus was crucified, on Good Friday. After Jesus had died, Joseph of Arimathea asked for the body, and it was Nicodemus who was there to help take the body of Jesus down and care for it and put it in the tomb. You see what happens, dear saints? The Word of God moves people. It directs people. As we know from the third article of the Creed, it calls, gathers, and enlightens people. And somewhere in Nicodemus' world, by seeing the works that Jesus did, he was drawn to him. By hearing the words that Jesus spoke to him, he was given faith. And that faith showed itself in action, as Nicodemus would be the one who would be there to help take Jesus' sacrificed body down from the cross. Dear saints, don't estimate the power of the Word of God with you and your friends. Bring them to Easter. Bring them to the church services. Bring them to youth group and Bible study where they also may hear the Word of God just like Nicodemus heard. Where the Holy Spirit may continue to give them faith that they also will trust in Jesus the crucified one who has died on the cross for you and for your friends who has risen again to give us the absolute assurance that we are forgiven because of what Christ has done through Jesus' death and resurrection given to us, we know for sure that we're forgiven. We know that we have hope. We know that Jesus' promised, promises to us are true, that we will rise as certainly as Christ Jesus has risen. Bring your friends and let them hear Jesus. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.